What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dread, and this is a rough. You know what? This ain't even no fight review because you can't really call this much of a fight, seeing as how it only lasted one and a half rounds or one and three quarter rounds, or whatever the hell you want to call it, between Bad Chad Dawson and Bernard, the executioner of Fossil Hopkins. I mean, you know, he's a fossil now because it seems like, you know, his bones break easily. But, you know, Bernard, he's been my dude for a long time, but the way this fight ended was just freaking pitiful. I mean, the first round, just a quick review. The first fight, or the first round of the fight, nothing really happened. A couple of jabs, a lot of moving around, a lot of feints, maybe a power shot or two in there, and a whole bunch of clinching. The round's over. Round two, the same thing happened. Except, I mean, because if you notice the, the way Bernard's, uh, Bernard Hopkins fights, he uh, lunges, when he um, throws his right hand, or his straight right hand, he lunges in. And he lunges in just so he can work off the clinch, just in case um, his opponent tries to tie up. And apparently, Chad Dawson seen it coming. He picked him up on his shoulder and slammed him to the mat and his shoulder and Bernard Hopkins shoulder it popped out of place it looked legit he did not fake that but regardless of the of his um regardless of whether his injury is legit or not that was a bullshit way I mean I don't know what pissing me off the way the fight ended or the way that the refs called the fight ended I mean because they gave it to Chad Dawson by decision this is the most bizarre ending to a fight I've ever seen in boxing history besides Mike Tyson's bite fight. It's, I mean, it's ridiculous. And a rematch with a Bernard Hopkins um, rematch? What the hell for? I mean, it, we, we probably just gonna end up getting the same shit. I mean, if not, then shoot. I had actually picked Bernard Hopkins to win this fight by decision, but I was wrong. Dead wrong. But to all my boxing fans out there, what the hell do you think of the end of this fight? I mean, because after this... I don't know if anybody's really going to pay to see either of these guys fight again, but, you know, we'll see. But what do y'all think about the end of this fight, y'all? I'm out. Peace.